guys, happy Saturday, and welcome to Fox News Saturday Night. This week, we saw a bunch of people who used to be close just going at each other's throats. Donald Trump's former VP Mike Pence and former debate coach Chris Christie announced that they were running against him for the nomination, which led to exchanges of barbs that we haven't seen since this guy did that. And all of it looks an awful lot like something else we saw this week. Yeah, I am talking about Vanderpump Rules on Fox News. I know, you'd never hear about this from Gutfeld because Vanderpump is a show that came out after 1972. But the Bravo reality show centered around an L.A. restaurant has been in the news a lot lately because of this bartender on bartender cheating scandal. And bartenders probably cheat on each other all the time. I mean, some bartenders are probably out there cheating on each other right now and maybe even while they're watching this. So if you haven't been paying attention, here's a quick explainer. Tom Sandoval, that guy, cheated on his girlfriend Ariana. He had a scandalous affair with her best friend Raquel, a waitress who had previously been engaged to DJ James Kennedy, one of Sandoval's closest friends before the scandal. It shocked everyone, except for maybe Mike Pence, who said, I don't watch shows where people hang out at restaurants with people other than their wives. At Wednesday's reunion, we saw people who spent years riding hard for each other just tearing each other apart. F yourself a cheese grater. F you. F you're disgusting, and I wish nothing but the worst ever happened to a person on you. It was wild. And I don't know when we'll see something like it again. At least not until the first Republican primary debate. I mean, it's already getting messy. We got Pence, who stood by Trump's side scandal after scandal, now running against him and saying this about his former boss. People mm. know me more as a, uh, as, a, as a quiet vice president, standing off the president's shoulder, loyally supporting him all the way until a day when my oath to the Constitution required me to do otherwise. Then there's Chris Christie. In 2016, he said this about Trump. And there is no one who is better prepared to provide America with the strong leadership uh, that it needs, both at home and around the world, um, than Donald Trump. Now he's saying this about Trump. A lonely, self-consumed, self-serving mirror hog <laughs> is not a leader. Which brings us to Trump, who once enjoyed Christie's endorsement. He responded by calling Christie a hard-to-watch, boring, failed governor, and posting a video edited to make it look like Christie gave his announcement speech while eating at a buffet. So, why am I talking about this? I mean, stuff other than Vanderpump did happen this week. The iPhone announced that it would stop auto-correcting that one naughty word to ducking, to which Mike Pence said, wait, what's the other word that sounds like ducking? And people in Japan are taking smiling lessons after forgetting how to smile from wearing masks. I guess they should maybe ask someone who can keep smiling even when other people are crying about the devastation she caused by banging her best friend's boyfriend. So even if Vanderpump Rules wasn't the only thing that happened this week, you can kind of relate it to everything. Just like reality TV, politics involves real human people, but it's also quite a bit produced and hyped up because people are watching. People fight, they make up, they fight some more, friends become foes, people and even entire sides change. For example, people on the right used to hate my non-interventionist views, and now people on the right actually like me for that and hate me for other stuff, while people on the left, who used to like me for that, now hate me for it. It's important to realize that just because politicians have power over us, it doesn't mean that we need to trust them any more or even take them more seriously than we would the people we see on reality TV. If anything, it's even more important to question them, to notice the hypocrisies and the flip-flops and to call them out for the stuff we don't like. I mean, for one thing, they work for us. We pay their salaries. We're their Lisa Vanderpump. And unlike reality TV people, the decisions politicians make can result in edicts that we have to all abide by. Who's gonna win the election? I don't know. But I have a feeling that until next November, things are gonna be kinda like what 
DJ James Kennedy said. And the house made of right. All right. A oh. poopy house. Stinky poop house. It's hard to say what shakes out and why in this crazy world. I mean, Tom Sandoval left this woman for a woman who can't string a sentence together. Because I put a cap on this thing. But then again, America made the same exact choice. How would you say your mental focus is? Oh, it's focused. <laughs> I, say it's, I think it's, I, I haven't, look, I have trouble even mentioning, even saying to myself, my own head. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.